Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Scorpio, I am here to do your October forecast. Yay! Um, just to check your love energy, see what's going on around you, okay? Um, this reading is for the collective so it's not going to resonate with all of you. So just Please, just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't. Don't try to squish it into your life, okay? And um, thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. Everybody's been absolutely amazing. Scorpio, you're amazing. Thank you so much for everything that you do that helps this channel grow, for real. Thank you, seriously. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, so Scorpio, let's get started. Ooh, here you are on the bottom of the deck. I'm holding my deck upside down. On the bottom of the deck, here you are, Scorpio. I feel like um, something is coming to an end. Um, possibly with the Sagittarius. I've got Pisces out here. You've got um, something coming to an end, or maybe you think it's at an end, but something is getting mixed up here for you. I feel like the divine is like, now wait a minute, wait a minute, Scorpio. Uh, we're still working on this. Yeah, I feel like it's a soulmate. Um, they're working on something. Maybe it's something new. Because usually when something is ended, something new comes in. But here's somebody coming in with an apology. And uh, this is very immature energy, I have to say, Scorpio. Someone is coming in to talk and give you an apology, but they're being very, very um, immature about it. Playing, like, playing games, getting flirty, um, maybe wanting to use this wand. I will warn you, this is, I only have two decks that tell me there's an STD in all of my, or two cards in all of my 50 decks. This is one of them that says there there could be an STD with this person. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Either way, um, either way, I think I, I, this energy is way too um, immature for you. I kind of feel like you're going to see right through something here, Scorpio, because what I'm seeing here is you're an Empress energy and you worked really hard to get there. You worked really hard to get there. Now, the Empress here is every queen in the deck and highly intuitive and connected to the divine. You're vibing really high. So you can clearly see the difference between someone who's high vibing and someone who's low vibing. Um, and uh, you've learned a lot in this journey. Uh, this person's trying to approach an Empress in very, very immature energy as a Page of Wands. You know, um, and you worked really hard to get in the Empress standing here. You know, and I feel like whatever it is you're working on, whatever project you're working on is becoming very, very abundant as well. That's too many cards though, Divine. I don't want to take that many. Clarify Temperance. What is the Divine working on here? I feel like they're mixing something up. Maybe it's a new soulmate for you here because... I feel like something is coming to an end. Um, judgment, we had judgment there. I feel like you're making a judgment call on this, especially if they approach you with any kind of immaturity here or an STD. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be like, no, I think no. Yeah. Yeah. This one wanted to come out. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like maybe the Divine is mixing up something instead of um, a relationship. Perhaps they're giving you a lot of abundance here for now. But anytime something, when a door closes, a new one opens. So clarify temperance here for me, please, Divine. I feel like a commitment could very well be over here. A commitment could be ending with a Virgo, possible Virgo. 
or another Scorpio, this could be you just ending this, saying, I'm done. I've got my stability. I'm seeing you in the, in the Queen of Pentacles energy. Very abundant, very financially stable. The Queen of Pentacles is, is the most financially stable queen in the whole entire deck. Now, she can stand for a committed person. Maybe this was a commitment between you two. Um, but I'm really just seeing you in, I can take care of myself. I'm very financially independent, thank you, kind of situation. Um, and I feel like a tower coming down um, in someone else's world here in the background. That's kind of one of the things that um, the divine is mixing up here, what you don't see. Something is coming to an end. You may think it's your connection, but I feel like it's wherever your person is. And you could very well be dealing with a Virgo. They're seeing the light here on, on this. Some kind of light was shed on something in, uh, in this foundation here. And they're being knocked out. They could even have to um, have like go through a house move they, they may need to move away or move homes. They could be evicted. Either way, the divine, see that lightning bolt? That's the divine doing that. Giving them a tower moment, shaking up their world. Possibly trying to release this person from something else. Um, and they want to change this around, clearly. They may be lighting, you know, holding this lantern to try to figure out how to change this around. Because I feel like they want you. They see you as someone they can build something solid with. They see you as being very, very abundant, you know. But this person also, they've been in the crossroads energy trying to decide. Well, the divine, I feel like I said, is deciding for them deciding for them okay I feel like there's something about whoever else that they're with who whoever they're with that seems to be fairly permanent like they could be very clingy or your person just has these ties with them okay but they your person clearly wants you they know they hold the world in the palm of their hands they can make the world whatever they want build it however they want with someone like you and you you and you're very abundant like I said not not just like you're not just financially stable you're financially sitting very pretty right now able to take care of everything moving forward yeah I feel like you're moving forward um, having a victory here, having a full-on freaking victory. You could have got just got a new car as well. Yeah, I feel like somebody's got it. Somebody's walking away from something here. It could be you, Scorpio. It could very well be you. Yeah, your person. This is your person. Having to walk away from something to have this passionate new beginning. You know, that's kind of what I'm feeling like here. Or they they may have to walk away from you because they picked up an STD. Take it however it resonates. It's There's kind of two stories here. Either they're walking away from something, they can't take these burdens anymore. Whatever this is, this person's in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. And I don't mean physically. I mean emotionally, mentally. This is being trapped in their mind night and day. Up all night thinking about this, crying in bed. Okay, when the whole wide, wide world is, is fast asleep, they lie awake and think about the girl and never ever think of counting sheep, right? That's a song. From Sleepless in Seattle. A person could be in Seattle, but they're definitely sleepless. They're not getting any sleep. 
Yeah, for some of you, they really, they want, they're just passionate for you. But for others, I feel like they, um, they may have an STD for some of you. So take it how it resonates. That part may not be for you, you know. If it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. But, yeah. Because I'm... S I mean, they, clearly they've been using that wand here. I feel like they are watching you. And I feel like they could even be watching someone new come into your life that's going to make you... You know, that's going to be committed to you. Because this I always see, this one person here as being possibly someone new. Okay, and this person's going to be watching. I feel like they're, I feel like this person, you know, they're, they're very immature. When they come forward, it's going to be very immature. I kind of feel like the divine is mixing something new up perhaps for you. Um, yeah. I feel like for some of you, this person really got themselves in some health issues here. Yeah, and you're like, I'm moving forward. So, yeah, this is your energy. I'm moving forward uh, with a lot. Of, I'm moving very fast. You could even be moving. You know, uh, you're going after the things you want that are going to make you happy. You're going to go after what you want with a passion. And you're just kind of turning your face to this. You could have even recently found out that this person may have picked up an STD here. I feel, I feel for a lot of you, this person is losing sleep, freaking out. They know they're losing you. They know they may have to walk away here because they may have gotten an STD. You know? But then the divine mixes up something new for you, then a new soulmate, a new two of cups. And, you know, and your person is going to have to watch this. They're going to have to watch it because they're watching you. They're watching you already. They're watching you boss up. They're watching you become abundant. They're watching you go after the things that you want. They're definitely not watching you just sit around and wait for them. They're watching you get what you want out of life. And that's coming in. That's coming in. Yeah. You know, here's the thing. If this, if your person from your past doesn't come forward, you're kind of being protected here. Per, you know, rejection is protection, okay? Because I think they may have picked something up here that you don't want. And not only that, but look at what you have coming forward. All this stability and possibly someone brand new just bumping into you that you can build something solid with. Okay. All right. What action is this person, this past person going to take? I feel like they're, they want to talk, but that really this is just the page of swords. It's somebody who stalks, really, gathering facts. You know, having something to say, but not saying it. So your past person... I feel like um, they're in a lot of regret and they do want to come in and tell you how they feel about you, okay? In a lot of regret, right? Because they turn their back on you here. They turn their back on you. I feel like they're, they're going to cry themselves, you know, they're going to cry all night. They're not even sleeping. They're going to cry all night night after night until they until they get out of this I'm so ashamed of my actions kind of feeling here and come forward because this is really what they want and they're they're going to tell you that this is what they want and they're going to want to be passionate but you know what if this is what they want then they actually have to kind of do 
something here. Because this is somebody who's not going to stick around, the Page of Wands. That's the player energy. So, what does Scorpio end up doing here in October? I feel like you've got new coming in. That's very, very promising. And your person is held back because they still, I, you know, it's this bracket. It's that one bracket. Someone is holding on to someone here. Okay, and you are getting away. And your person is freaked out about it in the month of October. Okay, because they just want to get you to calmer waters. But I feel like they still have ties to someone here. You know, the divine is shaking up their foundation and everything, but this person... I think I'm feeling unfinished business here on the other side with your person. Or maybe that whoever they're with is being very clingy or something. And you're just moving forward. Either way, they come towards you, I think, with this immature. Yeah, they're giving to others right now. Boom. This person is still investing in other people. And when I say investing, I don't mean just money. Which they are supporting. They're, it's almost like they're supporting two other people that don't have jobs. They're still connected to someone somehow. Something is hanging on to your person. Clinging. Okay? Because they're supporting them with money. But I also mean like... They invest their time, their energy, their, you know, their, their everything, their attention, everything into these, these two. I'm seeing two people here that just have their hands out. And your person's getting fairly aggravated with supporting these people. That's what I'm seeing. Could be one person, could be a couple people. But yeah, I'm telling you, they're still going to be giving or investing something into this whatever other situation they've got going on whatever they you know whatever they're in someone's clinging on to it so yeah you're moving forward i feel scorpio because you know what you have to for you you have to for you and you're you're actually in the kind of energy where you really don't need anybody you're very very independent here and, you know, just as you move forward, like I, I feel, the divine is mixing something up for you. Whether it was past or, or new, here comes the new. I'm really set feeling this person is new that comes in. And it's going to lead to long-term stability and commitment. Okay? And your person, like I said, they're going to have to watch. All right, Scorpio, listen, that's what I've got for your month of October here. Um, I hope that helps. I really do. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow, right? And uh, yeah, especially if you haven't subscribed yet, welcome, welcome here. We're growing here together. So, you know, anyway, um, until next time, Scorpio, have a great October. Take care of you and peace out.